Hello YouTube, Slacker Stacker here, and today I was fortunate enough to visit my LCS. And the reason why is because last week I've been working a day shift at work. I've been doing some training, uh, learning some different systems around there. Uh, one of our guys, uh, he's been teaching me how to run the line, so whenever he takes vacation I can, I can back him up and, and take over for him. But anyway, it was a very busy, hectic week. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot done as far as uh, silver or making videos. I am way behind. I've got so many videos to make. Uh, so here is this one. I wanted to visit Spencer because I was used to getting up early by now. So I went up and uh, I caught him before he closed early on Saturday. Uh, this is, of course, Saturdays he closes early. So I was able to go and catch him. And I picked up a little haul there. And uh, that's what this video is about. These are the chests that my Constitutional Silver are in, so uh, I did try to pick up uh, enough of the stuff. I had a list that I'm trying to complete tubes, and uh, if I can get things out, I have some the Franklin, I have Kennedy Halves, and Salivate Metal did a video talking about a tubular journey. Well, I think that's what I took today is a tubular journey because that's what I'm trying to do is complete these tubes, and we will see. So I had some uh, mercury dimes that I needed to top off, and I had some, uh, that's pennies, uh, I think these are your regular Washington quarters that I had. I wanted to fill up the tube, uh, and I did. Was I was able to get a barber dime? Uh, you'll see that here in a second. I only got a few of those, but uh, I'm gonna angle down a little bit more, and I can show you what I picked up. And this video is going to go long, but it's been a long time coming, so I'm happy to do it. And I really hate dumping silver this way, but here we go. So, here is some mercury dimes. I got like six of those. Oh, that's the barber. I got like six of those, and I think that's all I need to top off uh, the mercury dime tube. And then I did get a very nice barber. Uh, if you can see it, there is the one dime. Very nice barber, good condition. So uh, that will go with my barber tube, barber dime uh, tube. And oh, there's a straggler mercury dime. Uh, he, I did get a couple of quarters because I was about 50 cents short uh, of filling that tube. So here are you know, two 1964 quarters, and he did put another one in there. But this one, look at that, it's actually a proof. Look at the mirror finish on that one. I couldn't believe it when I got home and got, had a proof. Uh, other than the Texas quarter that Ravenhawk Coins gave me for Christmas, I, I don't have any really proofs proofs like that. Especially one that just showed up ex unexpectedly. So, really happy about that one. I'll probably put that one in a capsule. Uh, now, the other things I did is like Sal, he's been trying to get these AU condition uh, 1964 Kennedys. And so uh, that's what I, I went after. I got five dollars face in the uh, the Kennedys. So um, that should top off that tube. I had five dollars face in there already. So this should do it for that tube. And I'm not actually going to place these in there yet because I do keep a catalog of the stack. I label everything that I have in, uh, the quantities. Uh, so they won't, you won't see me putting them in the tubes just yet. But I'm just showing you what I picked up. Now I did a trade and I had a full complete tube of the Franklin halves. But I pulled one out because this guy really wanted a Franklin. So I went ahead and broke down and, and, and sent him one. But uh, this is to plug that hole <laughs> the Franklin has. And I started making uh, a tube of the Walking Liberty halves. And uh, so I picked up a couple of those. There's one in here that was in really good. I mean, these are shiny. Uh, but where is that one that was in 
heard what I thought was in pretty much better condition than, than most. Uh, that's not it. That one's kind of smooth. It must be this last one here. Uh, even though she's got some wear, but you know the the stuff around here is a little bit better be detailed. But the eagle is what caught my eye. The eagle is is a lot better detailed. So I have about two dollars face in the Walking Liberty uh, halves, and um, I do have a barber half. Now I've never had one of these before, so I was really excited to see this one. And you know, for as old as it is, that one's in pretty good condition too. You know, you can see all the stripes, uh, the chest on the e the the crest on the uh, eagle's chest is is you can still see the stripes in it. It's got its wear, but I mean, come on, from 1915, that that's really not bad. <laughs> so I was really excited about the barber half. I've got a couple of barber dimes. I got a barber quarter, but uh, this is the first half I've ever gotten. So uh, really, that's about it for the constitutional. Uh, just show, just wanted to show you guys what I was up to today. Uh, I did this video first out of many that I have to do because I went ahead and want to go ahead and uh, get these cataloged, put into the tubes, and then put away to make room for the other stuff I've got to shoot videos for. Uh, this is the stuff that really takes up a lot of room, and I want it back into safe soon. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stack on, my friends.